I suppose thinking back, I've always considered myself a leader of students and a leader of teaching and a leader of learning. So that is where my journey started. And then over the years, I became a head of department, assistant head, deputy head, a head teacher. And now I'm a system leader as a chief exec of, of a number of schools, working with head teachers to improve standards and improve outcomes across a whole community. But at the core of everything that I've always done in my DNA has been partnership. Your hand shot straight up. My trust is the City Learning Trust in Stoke-on-Trent. It's a, a group of, of 11 schools, a 3 to 19 partnership of around about 6,000 students. Wow. Our values are very much based on cooperation and collaboration to get the best possible outcomes out of everything that we do. The trust started very much with the need for a local primary school to get supported. And the only way we could continue to support them was to sponsor them and create a multi-academy trust. And as a dad of, of two boys, I'm only interested as a parent in the educational journey from, from, from three upwards to 19. And I think that's what the trust gives me the opportunity to think like a parent. A good number of years ago, when I was an assistant head teacher, I became increasingly aware that the union I was in at the time wasn't really helping me on my leadership journey. And I went to the Association's National Conference and I was thrilled to see what ASCO was providing. Advice and guidance, best practice, the opportunity to influence decisions with government in the future, I needed to know that a union backed me and supported me if I ever needed help. And I think that's the big difference with Askell. And then later, of course, once I got really involved with Askell, I realised that it was a fantastic union to help shape the image of things to come in education. And that has really interested me to then move on to become president. One of the biggest strengths of the association is that it works for its members. It's there for its members all the time. From the hotline through to the legal line if needed. And that level of support is reassuring. As a head teacher, when you get to that pinnacle of that work, where you need to feel like you have the backing that's needed when it's needed, to have that support in the background of the highest quality is invaluable. I feel incredibly proud to become president, but it brings a great weight of responsibility as well. I want to make sure that our professional association continues to go from strength to strength, to be the union of choice for every school leader in the country. But I also want to ensure that we are working in partnership with government to think again about what policy can do for all of us and how it drives forward education in the country. I really do think we've got an opportunity to do policy differently. There are a lot of pressures in the system at the moment and it's important that as an association we have a really constructive dialogue with government so together we can find the solutions to the problems that we've got.